Hi, hello, this is Anup here. In this video, what we are going to see what is co-management and why do we need to have a co-management setup in your environment. If you have a Windows 10 device, you can manage that Windows 10 uh, device uh, with SSEM and Intune at the same time. Concurrently, you can manage Windows 10 device with SSEM and Intune. That is what co-management is. Many customers want to manage Windows 10 with the same way how they are managing the other mobile devices. Simplified management, low cost and uh, cloud-based management. So that is the business reason. This is the diagram which I put in that first post. So basically you can see over here, uh, this is my primary server and primary server is connected to Intune with the co-management. It's not a hybrid, hybrid Intune, it's it's a co-management Intune connection. So as you notice over here, I have a CMG and CDP. Clients are co-managed clients. Uh, these clients are managed by SCM as well as Intune. Okay, basically we can up offload some of the workloads from SCM to Intune. For example, if you want to manage your software update uh, patching through Intune, then you can offload load that workload to Intune. So patching of uh, co-managed devices will be managed uh, by uh, Intune. Okay, but uh, for uh, all other deployments or all other features, SSEM policy will get, get applied on these co-managed devices. This is a high level uh, view of co-management. If I go to the go to the bottom of this post to give you an update. So why do so basically this is uh, move uh, why do we need to move to modern management what is the difference between modern management and traditional management it doesn't mean like SSCM is traditional management solution no it's it's not a traditional management solution so as I mentioned in previously most of the companies uh, want to manage Windows devices Windows 10 devices using a cloud solution or simplified solution so th that is what the business case for co-management so there are two entry points for co-management. One is SSEM plus domain joint devices. That is the first entry point. If you are already having a SSEM plus domain joint device, then you can move some of your workload to Intune. As I mentioned, like software updates, you can move that workload to Intune. So that is first entry point. The other entry point is Tune plus AD joint device. So for example, if you have a Intune plus AD joint device, then probably uh, for the complex application deployment like uh, AppV or some similar application deployment you can use SSEM okay but for all the other policies you can use Intune this is what I explained in the post as I mentioned I have various posts on co-management how to set up co-management how to set up cloud management gateway I have a video post which explains like from starting itself setting up Azure AD connect and UPN suffix change this is also required for co-manage if I go to here and play this video you can see like how do I set up an AD connect and details if I go back uh, go back here you can see like how did I set up PKI infrastructure how do I enable PKI certificates and uh, what are the certificate I used in the latest version of SSEM there are some changes you can use inbuilt HTTP communication to enable co-management and you can avoid a lot of other certificates which I used in this videos and how to create cloud management gateway this is another video which I did how to make your MPSUP HTTPS how to install the CM client from Intune managed device so these are the videos I have already done. I have another videos which explain how to enable cloud DP in CMG. These are the posts you can go into and have a look. Okay, I think uh, this post is useful for you. That's it for this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.